safety on his behalf. This is America. America is a 27-year-old male bald eagle. America was unfortunately shot in his wing. Now he survived, just not well enough to survive out in the wild on his own. It's hard to believe that anybody can shoot a beautiful bird like this. The federal laws do protect against the shooting of any bird of prey, let alone an eagle, with the extreme penalties. You may ask yourself, now where does the bald eagle get its name? Well, bald comes from an old English word that simply means white-headed. They don't acquire that white head and a white tail until they're almost four to five years old. Prior to that age, they are brownish colored all over, and that's an indication of their maturity. This bird's other name is the American Eagle, and that's because they've been our nation's symbols since 1782. They are a resident of North America. They live by lakes, rivers, oceans, so that they can catch their favorite food, which is fish. They will also eat waterfowl, various mammals, uh, reptiles, sometimes even carrion. They are one of the largest birds of prey in North America. Some of the Alaskan females can reach a wingspan of over eight feet, a height of 42 inches, and a heavy weight of 16 pounds. Their breeding life also begins around four to five years, and at this age, they'll pick a lifelong mate, only to remate if their faithful companion were to perish. The pair will soon choose a nest site, usually in a large tree near water, and they'll return to that nest year after year. They add new materials to that nest. Sometimes it can weigh a ton or more. They'll lay one to three eggs in the nest. Incubation is done by both parents. Eggs hatch about 35 days, and the young grow rapidly. In just 12 weeks, they reach adult size, and they take their first flights from the nest. But sadly, like most birds of prey, only about 50% of these birds that hatch in a given year will survive to see their second spring. But our non-releasable pairs here at Dollywood, they can their offspring contribute to the wild population. As a matter of fact, as of this year, the American Eagle Foundation has released over 130 bald eagles into the foothills of the Great Smoky Mountains. And this is all in an effort to repopulate the bald eagle in our area. Their comeback is in full swing. They've rebounded in the lower 48 states from just around 400 pairs. But as of today, thanks to help from folks like you all and better habitat protection, their numbers have increased to over 13,000 pairs in the lower 48 states. It's a success story, definitely. They return to many of their former locations and they have been taken off the endangered species list. A lot of their resurgence is due to the banning of a nasty pesticide back in the 70s. Many of you have probably heard of DDT. And all the Golden Eagle Act and captive breeding facilities like the one here in Dollywood. Though it seems they've turned that critical corner, their comeback still isn't complete. We must strive in the effort to secure the future of this beautiful bird. Dollywood and the American Eagle Foundation are proud to present to you our nation's living symbol. It's up to us all to preserve what we have left and to, and to repair what we've damaged. Because we didn't just inherit this planet from our parents, we just borrowed it from our kids. Folks, you've been a great audience, and we do have one more bird coming out all the way from Africa. This is fine.